My name is Goh Chen Shai. I'm a uh, software engineer and in a system lab, and uh, I do uh, programming, research programming for uh, scientific applications. Our lab, uh, on one hand, acquires uh, different, you know, hardwares. Like uh, several years ago, we have the uh, cell processor from the IBM, and uh, we have the FPGAs from various companies. And recently, we have, the, of course, the GPUs and uh, Intel's mic. And we, on the other hand, we have the applications. Uh, that we have very close uh, work relationship with um, scientists. So basically what we do is we try these applications on these different hardwares to see how they perform. And if they're good, we try to push this thing into the production. What we do with the last QCD on the GPU processor, and uh, we have been seeing tremendous uh, improvement on the GPU with this application compared to the CPU performance in this inverter as well as some other uh, components. So the, the work we will present on the uh, uh, supercomputing is about the inverter performance. On We scale it to up to 256 GPUs. And the, we use it a library called CUDA, which is, uh, and then the application will link to this library to use the GPU. So far we have it, um, the CUDA has linked to the uh, milk, and then it is also linked to another uh, Lancy QCD application called uh, Chroma, which is heavily used in uh, Jefferson National Lab. So we will be presenting results for both applications in the supercomputing. For the milk, we compared the CPU running on 4,000 cores. Essentially, one GPU is equivalent to the 74 CPU cores. You know, as far as we know, there are really very few applications you know, to actually achieve production level of performance on large number of GPUs. You know, there are many GPU applications that you know, run well on single GPU or maybe like you know, eight GPUs, but not beyond 100. So I, we hope to you know, inspire people, say, you know, we can, if we can do this, you can do this with your application as well.